on a you are muted okay. um i'm going to call the town commission meeting for may 9th to order we're going to stand for the pledge in the I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the flag of the United States of America. Sal, please. Father God, thank you once again for entrusting us with your town, for giving us an opportunity to lead your citizens. I ask that you give us your wisdom and discernment and that we make the best decisions for our town. May we honor you and all we say this evening in your name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Sal. Hey, roll call. Commissioner McMullen. Present. Commissioner Pollan. Here. Commissioner Ramos. Present. Vice Mayor Satterfield. Present. Mayor Stark. I'm here. Have a quorum. Thank you very much. Um, I'm handing the imaginary gavel over to Mike so that I may make. Um, I move that he adds to the agenda under other policy matters. It's regarding the termination of Jack Butler from the town of Oakland, and we will discuss it later in the agenda. Okay. Madam Mayor, oh, we need to motion include. Um, also, the appointment of the interim and appointment of the interim town manager. And so, I need a motion, please. I made the motion. I need a second. I'm not used to. <laughs> I'll second. <laughs> I'll second. Okay, you've been moved. In, it's been moved and seconded. Do we have any questions or comments at the table or in the audience? Okay. All in favor? Aye. All right. Give me back that. Game. Which I have agreed because I should have said we have a motion wrong, but you go ahead. All right. Um, we are down to presentations already. Um, Chief Eason, Peace Officers Memorial Day, um, National Police Week. Whereas the Congress and the President of the United States have designated May 15th as Peace Officers Memorial Day and the week in which it falls as National Police Week. Whereas members of the Oakland Police Department play an essential role in safeguarding the rights and freedoms of the citizens and of Oakland, and whereas it is important that all citizens know and understand the duties, responsibilities, hazards, and sacrifices of the law enforcement agency, and that the members of our police department recognize their duty to serve the people by safeguarding life and property, by protecting them against violence or disorder, and by protecting the innocent against deception and the weak against oppression or intimidation. Whereas the women and men of the Oakland Police Department unceasingly provide a vital public service, now therefore I, Kathy Stark, call upon all citizens to observe the week of May 15th and May 21st as National Police Week. And furthermore, I call, call upon all citizens of Oakland to observe May Monday, May 15th as Peace Officers Memorial Day in honor of those peace officers who through their courageous deeds have lost their lives or have become disabled in the performance of duty. So Darren, um, you are the interim town manager right now, but um, ceremonially only, you may um, act as chief. And um, this is for you and your department. And I cannot begin to tell you how happy we are with our community policing police department. Thank you very much. Um, as, as both of you know here, I was collected by this after eight months to my previous agency that my uh, hiring classmate was murdered in the line of duty. And so Police Memorial has always been very special to me and uh, really appreciate all the support that not only the commission, but the town gives us on a daily basis. Thank you for recognizing Renee, Renee, <laughs> Uh, 
right here. Just right here. Just right here. Just right here. Just right <laughs> you want to be in the middle? Okay. One, two, three, three, two, one. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for driving. Oh. <laughs> well. We will reiterate what the mayor said. You guys are phenomenal. You have stepped in and hit the ground running. I, I personally just be happy with myself. Me either. Thank you guys. I couldn't be happier either. Okay, so Mr. Parker. All right, um, Mr. Parker, this is a proclamation for yes. National Public Works Week. And that is through, from May 21st to May 27th. Whereas public works professionals focus on infrastructure, facilities, and services that are of vital importance and sustainable and resilient communities and to the health, high quality of life, and well-being of people in the town of Oakland. Whereas these infrastructure, facilities, and services could not be provided without dedicated efforts of public works professionals who are engineers, managers, employees at all levels, of the government and the private sector who are responsible for rebuilding, improving, protecting our, our nation's transportation, water supply, water treatment, and solid waste systems, public buildings, and other infrastructure facilities essential for our citizens. And whereas the health, safety, and comfort of this community greatly depends upon these facilities and services. So therefore, I, Kathy Stark, mayor of the town of Oakland, do hereby proclaim the week of May 21st to May 27th, 2023 as National Public Works Week. I urge all citizens to pay tribute to our public works professionals, engineers, managers, and employees to recognize the substantial contributions they make to protect our public health, safety, and quality of life. Parker? So so usually I have a nice pretty poster that celebrates National Public Works Week. We ordered it. It just has came in yet. So I'm gonna bring it up. As soon as it comes in, I'll bring it to the You know how easy that spot is to be yeah. when and, yeah. uh, and uh Jessica works for the other works is here tonight. Up here. Yes, of course. Parker, Parker, you know, we love the job that you do too. Thank and you, you are, you have been for a long time a very welcome addition to this town. And you have to stay until I'm gone. <laughs> so, I, I promise you. Okay, one, two, three, three, two, one. Thank you. Here we go. Right. Commissioner Ramos, Jessica. Commissioner Ramos tried to get me to sign a contract. More years, so I'm still thinking. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm thinking the fact that she uh, says, uh, you know, Mister, that that's another at least ten years. That's for Thank you. And please pass that on to the crew. Yeah, I will. So, um, when this meeting, when we get to town and commission reports, we'll talk about. Um, how far we have moved along in our search for a town manager and what the plans are for the next week. And then hopefully we'll have somebody coming to help us. So very, very um, important. Um, so we are to public forum and Donna, I know you're here and I know that you're, I saw you sign the form. Sign in. Do you want to talk or not? I didn't sign it. I just picked up the agenda. Oh, sorry. Hi. Just on public service thing, I just want to say how loud it is in a little bit. Um, that when you call and there is an issue, that I mean, happened two days ago when he was in a hundred dollars here for me. At this point, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, 
Do we have anybody else who wants to speak under public forum on anything that's not on the agenda? Okie dokie. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fight you on it. Consent agenda. Um, do we have any questions or comments? Anything we want to pull out before you guys make a motion? I need a motion, please. Consent agenda. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. I'm sorry. Anybody have any questions or comments in the audience? See, I'm way thrown off you. Um, Ordinances, Ordinance 2023-06, first public hearing, Oakland Park, Fourth Amendment to the Development Agreement. Okay. The Town of Oakland Park, the Development Agreement, and the first, second, and third amendments to the Development Agreement for the Oakland Park Plan Unit Development, approving the Fourth Amendment to the Development Agreement for the Oakland Park Plan Unit Development, providing for conflicts, providing for severability, and providing for the state. So I know Brad Cornelius informally presented this to you guys last week, so I won't go into too much stuff unless anybody has any questions. Um, this is to ratify the first three uh, development agreement amendments and to adopt the fourth uh, amendment to the development agreement. And the fourth amendment is to um, amend the buffer between Mackey and um, the south side of the Phase. The south side of that um, seventh. seventh phase, yes. Um, do I have any questions? Okay, um, can you just, for those in the audience who weren't here last um, two weeks ago, um, can you just go over really quickly um, what the first three amendments are? They're in this, right? Well, the amendments were already. Oh, they've already been. Yes. So, okay. The wrap, the first end of scrap goods in this one. Okay, so we're not voting on anything else. Okay, gotcha. All right. Do we have any questions or comments at the table? This is exactly that we're redoing the fence into trying to customize the people, correct? Yes. All right. Um, I need a motion, please. Okay. I'll second it. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Do we have any further questions at the table? All right, I'm going to open a public hearing. Anyone have any further questions? Okay, a closed public hearing. Take it back to the table. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, that's done. Um, Town man or other policy matters, sorry. Um, your mic. Got it. Thank you. Other policy matters. Other I will turn it over to Kathy. Sorry. Thank you. Um, motion number one I move that we terminate Jack Butler without cause, effective immediately. Severance to be paid based on his contract terms. I'll second it. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Um, Vice Mayor is acting as the mayor. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you. Thank you, Seth. and seconded. Do we have any other questions? On the table, anything from the audience? I'll bring it back to the table, call for the vote. All in favor, aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye, Seth. Thank you. Um, motion two, um, Elise Huey. Uh, I move that we appoint Elise Huey as interim town manager until a permanent town manager is hired. Second. And I've got a motion and a second. Any other discussion from the table? All right, uh, audience, any questions? I'll call for the vote. All in favor, aye. Aye. All opposed, nay. And ayes have it. Awesome. And with that, I will turn that gavel back to Ms. Thank you. Um, so the town manager, do you have anything to report, Mr. Acting Town Manager? Fortunately, there was nothing to Okay. Elise will um, begin her um, term as acting town manager effective tomorrow, which is when you were planning on going back to the police department anyway. Okay. <laughs> you sure now? Because we can rethink this. Well, <laughs> yes. I know. Okay. For both of them, we rethink this. 
No, we need him to have you know, ties to the police department back. So, Sal, do you have anything? Uh, I had a comment for this top street uh, shop signs. I know that I was going to bring that up to Mike Parker. There's some stop signs I saw in Duwak County, Jacksonville, that have uh, LED LED lights. Lights. Sign. Yeah. Because uh, I, I haven't, you know, gone after or talked to the sheep other than feed a dead horse. People take the stop sign, and sometimes they just don't even know they're from Lake County driving by. So. Well, I, that one stop sign that we put out at Old Highway 50, or whoever, I don't know who put it out, but um, it's very innocuous, and it's a new stop sign. I ran straight through it yesterday. I have a ticket for Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't stand out and i know that there's a reader board further up the street but you know i drive that thing every day you know every day practically and i'm just like and i know there are other people yeah what are you saying parker we'll pass to uh yeah thank you yeah. Is that your question? So, in in response to the issues, you know, about that, maybe you're not so about the flashing lights that street or certainly warranted. Yeah. We'll put that on the lengthy list for the new town manager. <laughs> that one? No, the <laughs> new town manager. Rick? So I, just, I got two quick things. Sure. Um, last night I went to the West Orange Chamber um, and the West Orange Foundation Award. So they, so they have this thing called the SOAR Awards, it's the Student of Achievement. And I can't see that word right now. So they give out awards to students in, of course, the West Orange area. And it's due to uh, Dan Petro. Yeah. Uh, uh, but Bessie Vanderlei said that we can participate, but the school has to be a member of the chamber. Have we ever discussed the school? No. Now it's a member. Is it yeah. be separate? I don't think so. She asked about, so she, said, she mentioned, she, you know, Bessie was one of the hosts. And she said um, the, the, the school itself has to be a member. I told her the town is not the chamber. Oh, member. Right. Yeah, I don't think so I've ever we could look into that. Yeah, sure. It was grade five all the way up to high school. And then they give about give kids scholarships to go to the intelligence. Yeah. Yeah. See all the schools around the area. It's very good. What was that? Some more the police. Oh, okay. Is that the reminder to write her ticket tomorrow? <laughs> um, yeah. I know the requirements were extremely specific about. They had to be in a, a West Orange Chamber school. Right. They had to be going to a certain college. Right. So, um, you know, if we thought of school as a even, member, that's the chance. Right. That's the chance. Yeah, of course. Right. And so if we feel that that's a good idea, um, given the parameters, huh. um, I, I don't see any problem. I guess that the school would be a separate membership is what I'm guessing. Yeah, that's what she stated that the school has to be a separate member. So we can look into it. Even the private schools, Foundation Academy has some kids, the Montessori School, Wintermere. Okay. But it was, a, it, was a, it was held at Olympia last night, so it was a nice ceremony. Okay. So the uh, high school kids, they actually got dollars, $2,000, $2,500, yeah. you know, $1,500 scholarship, so that was pretty cool. And then, then you got Tildenville in here. I know church, and I would be willing to bet other churches, too. Yeah, 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 whoever else. They, they, the way they give scholarships. It's to be a member of right. the chamber. But no, they give outrights. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And these kids are amazing. Just amazing. So anyway, we can look into all that. Okay. And then the other thing is the FLC annual conference, the, I guess, I'm um, not guess, but the, well, the, the dates are August 10th to the 12th. The registration is going to come out soon. Is and that, it's here in the town. Hope everybody can come. Is in Orlando. Yeah, yeah there's going to be a team hope, um, hotel, the, um, the Hilton Bonnet Creek. They're not going to go back to. Yeah, they're not going back to the Marriott. No, that's the first time I've ever. Hilton Bonnet Creek is. Yeah. Nice. 
So it'd be great if all of us can go. Okay, I got it. FLC. What are, you, what are you trying to say? It would be great. <laughs> now, 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 managers can go to that too, right? Yes. What do they? Town staff can go up. Yeah, because I think that would be a good thing. You know, town manager is going to have to meet and greet a lot yeah. of people. It's going to be in Orlando, and it's going to be right in our backyard. And you know, date uh, August tenth through the twelfth. Are you trying to tell us something? I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I, I really am. I'm not clear. Yeah. But I, I really, I really, I'm, I really want folks to go. Oh, please. Yes, if I'm in the state. There you go. <laughs> if I'm in the vice mayor, status, please, August 10th. I mean, you know, just, just block that date out. If we really need it. Just one day out now. Listen to me. Thank you. <laughs> I'll put it on my calendar. It's going to be, it's going to be on your calendar. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. It's going to be a special occasion. So, they got some special things going on. So, I really would love, not for me, no, not for me, but I would love for all of you to go. Gotcha. Okay. Where, where, did you, where is it at? The Hilton Bonnet Creek. In, down by Disney. Disney. Yeah. This is the first time at that hotel. And it's a very, very nice hotel. So, that's all I have. Okay. Mikey. Um, the only thing I got as a reminder is we have the uh, the gala this at Friday the night. Yeah. Pardon me. The that's no nineteenth. Sorry. No. Oh, 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 no. Okay. You know that's this um uh, for those of us that are going. I'll get with uh, you tomorrow at least and see if we got the table filled or if we need maybe get some staff to fill more. Okay. So hope uh, see you there. So I'm going to a pre wedding reception. I knew you had something happen. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the um, the twenty six meeting. A reminder that we are at five thirty at the school for the tree dedication for uh, PTO, and then just a, a few quick things before um, we head back up here at seven. Okay. So the flyways. When is the flyway? I saw it on my calendar. Twenty fourth. Twenty third. You mean? Whatever that is. Twenty sixth to twenty third. The flyway is twenty fourth. Okay. I'm old. I can afford to do that. That's what threw me out. Yeah, so we had a flyaway. We had the flyaway the 24th and the 20th. That's right. I don't feel that's right. That's right. We hadn't corrected me on the other. Um... They should all be on the calendar. So yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. I saw my calendar. Yeah. yeah. So, and the flyaway is very cool, actually. If you can. Uh, oh, it is. It's really. I've been. So. I'll be participating. I know last year. Yeah. Then you, uh, this is the last one. Yeah. Last one. I go there all the time, but I was gonna say you'd be yeah. in the golf cart. Are you in the golf cart right here anyway? Yeah. Oh yeah, I got yeah. it. Just just remembering. Yeah. That's all gonna have it. That's all I have. Um they they didn't see all so anyway, we uh, sat down and um, went over all of our candidates that applied for the town manager position. We have some very um, good candidates, and we called the um, applicants down to five finalists. And next Thursday, they are going to have lunch. They're going to go on a town tour with me and Parker. So God knows how that's going to go, but we'll try. Um, then um, we're going to have a reception. It is with elected officials, so the public is invited. It will be here in this building. Um, we're specifically inviting people, but the public is invited. And um, interviews will be on Friday. And if we have any luck at all, we will be making an offer later that day. Everything has been done. This is a background checks, um, social media checks. Uh, everything has been completed on these folks. Uh, they're, they're, um, the reports that we got on them were about 90 pages long each. It's 100. God. Yeah, there was one that was 100. Six, but I wouldn't get yeah, True. So anyway, these are people who are very interested, qualified to interview, and we're hoping that uh, you know, out of the five, we should come up with someone we're very confident in. That's it. Anything else? 
Oh, we need to find something. Yeah. Wake you up. I know. <laughs> um, Joseph. Well, if all hearts and minds are satisfied, and if you want to go to the my granddaughter and her pink iPad. I'm not going to stop. The seven space starts here. Let's adjourn. All right. Stop. I, I knew we did. All of us on June 1. All right.